everyone, my name is Nia. I am an author and I am here to review the Free Write Smart Typewriter. This is the third generation typewriter. This is not a paid review. I totally paid for every cent of this device. And um, But if they wanted to send me one, I would not be sad. I have been interested in the Free Write for years. I think I first looked at it five or six years ago. Um, and I finally was able to <laughs> sell some old textbooks and scrimp up a little bit and save for the nearly $700 price tag of the third generation typewriter. So in order for me to give you a perspective to see if this might be a device that's helpful for you, I'll tell you a little bit about my writing style. Pantser. I have a really hard time outlining. I'm the type of writer that I'll start an outline and then I'll just start writing paragraphs and paragraphs of setting and full pages of dialogue. And before I know it, I'm like 40,000 words in. And so the idea of drafting quickly was something that I um, was really interested in. I'll show you the unboxing and I'll show you a little bit about what I did to kind of do a scientific assessment of my writing. One of my very first impressions was that this was a little bit heavier than I anticipated, but let's open it up and see what's inside. You open up this nice heavy box. This is one of those boxes, if you know what I'm talking about, that's like, you have to save this box because inevitably you'll use it for later and it just stays empty. I am reusing this kind of mesh spider web kind of sleeve that it comes in because I just want to keep the dust out while I have it kind of hanging around. That's just the charger. Um, and for transport, I don't have a case. I didn't buy it because it didn't have great reviews, but I'm still looking for something. If you have one, then let me know. Put it in the comments below. This is just booting up. It takes a minute or so for it to boot up and for able to set up your post box where you can drop your documents later. And I loved that my first screen was this. <laughs> so let's get writing. The month prior to getting my free write, I measured every day in my writing sprints how many words I could get per minute, and that average was about 29 or 30. When I do my writing, I typically do it in 20 minute bursts, and so I measured my patterns both at home and libraries, with and without music, and I was getting about 30 words per minute at best on the air book, as I mentioned before. But of course, I got on the free write and my average bumped up to 41 words per minute um, across all of the same kind of settings. So that was really impressive. That is a jump in 10 to 12 words per minute based on my average of the weeks leading up to the free write. Not a slow drafter by any means, but adding a little bit of speed in the drafting process so you can get to revision purgatory where I am at right now is great. Part of the increase in writing, I know, is because I don't have 42 tabs open. And I think also the psychology of just having one device that you have and when you pull it out, it's writing time. There's nothing else. And also I'm not editing much because I'm showing you here that editing is a little bit cumbersome. You have to kind of go up to the word and then delete the whole word. So it's just way easier to import your document. I um, send them to the post box, which comes with it, which integrates into my Google Docs, but I like working in Scrivener. So it is a little bit, you know, kind of discombobulated when that's happening, but it is pretty fast after I have worked with the draft just to go through and spell check. Um, the formatting um, takes a little bit of time because, it, you know, I can't double space this, I can't use hanging indents. So if you're expecting that that is going to be happening, then you'll be disappointed with this. But it's just something that you have to get used to, just the idea that this device is just for drafting. So some of the pros, obviously, I think it's just reminding yourself about having a time where you're not distracted. First couple times I took it out, I was taking it out with my computer too, just cause I wasn't sure about editing. I tend to edit while I'm drafting. And so I know that we're, the goal is to be kind of away from that with the free write, but I am learning that it really is a great drafting device, not a full on word processor. 
Um, you know, so if that is your expectation, then that's not what you want with this. This is not marketed as that. This is really, they're very careful, I think, with their marketing to just say, hey, this is great for drafting, great for getting words on the page. And I think the other main thing for me was just making sure that I knew when I had this, it's like tricking my brain or having my brain rewire itself to say, once I have this device out, it is writing time. It is not time to do anything else but write. And so those 15 to 20 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes that I'm supposed to be sprinting, I'm actually just putting words on the page. I have found that my best um, you know, tip to myself has just been just get this out and um, just get it out and just use this and worry about the editing piece later. If you're really good at drafting and just like leaving it be and just going, you're gonna be fine. But if you're like me and you're like, oh, I want to rewire that sentence or no, I need to change this because this switches the whole mood of this paragraph before, um, which is a disease of the pantser, I think for sure, then it's not going to be very pleasant for you. An unexpected issue that came up was I have had to force restart the free write a couple of times. And I don't know if that's because I have a lot of draft documents in there, but it's been more than twice so far. I haven't had any issues when I had to force restart it, like I didn't lose any of my documents. It um, does take about a minute for that to happen. I thought that I had lost battery charge when this happened, um, but the battery holds really, really well. I only have to charge it like once per week. I've never actually had my battery run down all the way. This device has been really, really helpful. I'll say um, I recently had a the black screen of death on my computer that was like two weeks outside of its warranty um, it was super sad. I thought my Scrivener was backing up into my cloud and it was just backing up onto the desktop. So I had lost a zero draft of a novel, which was nearly complete, which isn't super terrible. I did have a minor heart attack or three major panic attacks. But the main thing was, you know, when I was writing, that was one of the novels that um, I have written that just came out like, Bleh, which means that it was a lot of big ideas and not very refined. And so I had just started going back in and starting to kind of rework chapter one, make notes about characters that I wanted to work in. So it wasn't a, a as devastating a loss, I guess, as it could have been. A reminder to back up your stuff, back up your stuff or you'll cry in the Apple store in front of everyone in downtown. It was a beautiful experience because I had been writing and well, that happened like on this, a lot of the rewrites and kind of moods and scenes and actually like the part of outlining that should be done before you write was done here. So I had it, I had it in post box. It's saved on the device, it's saved there. I back it up to my Google. It's in many, many places. So um, there is another benefit. So as long as it's connected to Wi-Fi, you're gonna have your, your documents are gonna be okay. The major con for me of this, of course, is the price. It took, one of the reasons it took so long was being able to kind of like get together the money to put all at once into something that you might pay a lot for the cost of a laptop. Um, I really had to sit on it for a long time and think about it as a cost in professional development. Do I recommend the free write? So I love writing on this. So I would say, yes, I would recommend it. I really wish that they had this for cheaper. I know sometimes I see the comments in their um, social media posts that say yeah, the price point is too high and they're like, oh yeah, well, we have the traveler. Well. I don't, one of the reasons why I bought this was the keyboard and because I didn't want to get like a gamer's keyboard plus another, you know, tablet to type on, you know, this was like an all-in-one device and it was like the e-ink is very pleasant to watch. So um, that for me is a major con. Um, all I do like to support <laughs> growing small businesses, growing small U.S. businesses, that's great. I wish it was $200 cheaper make it a little bit more accessible. I'm working right now. It was not something that like, you know, broke the bank. You know, for many people, that's it's just this is just super out of reach, particularly if writing is your only flow of income right now. So while I think writing on the free write is an amazing experience and I really like it, it's not necessary to get your novel out there. I hope this review of the free write smart typewriter was helpful to you. If you have one, let me know in the comments how you like it, which one did you get, and also, are you a plotter or a pantser? Let me know in the comments.